What are these hunters doing? Are they not hunting people? Come on. Hunting people? I don't mean people. That would be like messed up murder and cab cannibalism. I just mean deer. That's it. No more. Hello everyone, it is Hayden Thoughts here and welcome back to another episode of that banished action. Yes, I know people. It's been like four million years since I played banished, but we're back and we're gonna see how our town is doing. I mean, last time it wasn't doing too well, but we're hopefully gonna make it a beautiful place. So yes, I haven't played this game in like forever. I don't even remember the last time I played, but I felt like getting back into it. So we're gonna go right to Totsville and, and we're gonna see what Totsville is doing. Cause Totsville, and it, it had a lot of people dying from last time I remember. A lot of death, not very good. Okay, it seems like we're going real fast here. Let's slow down the time a bit. Woo wee. Let's just go down to two times speed because for now we gotta we gotta get things organized. We gotta figure out what the heck's happening. So that's what we're gonna do is figure out what's happening right now. So this is a what a hunting cabin. So we're working on a hunting cabin here. There's a road or bridge. Oh god, I have to like I haven't touched this in forever. So I gotta remember how uh, how everything works and how how our world is. All right, so we extended this crop field last time, which is actually being worked on currently. So we'll have to see how that goes. But otherwise, we have one laborer left over and we have a decent amount of food stored. So that's good news. No one, I mean, hopefully no one will starve. Knowing me, all the food is just gonna vanish and everyone dies because that's how this whole game had previously gone. We need some more people bored. Come on, people, pour out those babies. Just, just do it. We need some more babies, we need some more slave workers. Because we don't have enough people to do the tasks required. So people need to start pouring out some more babies. I got the housing for the babies. Wow, actually my housing's getting pretty full. <laughs> now that I look at it, <laughs> all my housing is quite full. So we should probably work on another house. I'm gonna actually do that right now. Let's build a, not a stone house. I definitely don't have the requirements to, oh, how do I rotate? Maybe R. Uh, that's just my to do it. <laughs> all right, we'll place it right next to this dude's house because all the houses we have are full. I mean, not full, but they all have occupants because more people won't join your town and make more babbies and slaves if you don't have open houses. So it's not going to hurt to build a couple more wooden houses. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to build one more. So that's two houses on the, what is that? What is this? Work is disabled at the, why? Why? Because I don't have anyone working? Is that it? I have no idea why it says the, the work. So these are two separate crop fields, sadly. Which kind of sucks. I was hoping they'd just join up and be a happy family, but no. They need to be separate because they're different. But that's cool. God, ooh, what is that? Production limit is reached. That's fine. We, t we don't need more wood. I, that was the mistake I made last time. How's our chopping doing? We got two people chopping wood. All right, so resource-wise, we're actually sitting pretty good. We've got lots of stored stone, lots of stored iron, lots of wood, lots of everything. So that's the good news. We're, we're in the winter and nobody's going to start starving to death. So let's actually speed it back up now to 10 times speed because there's nothing I could do at this point. We got to let things just roll. We got to let things build because this hunter's lodge is actually important so we can get some more food. But in the winter, there's not much to do <laughs> besides let things just build and let everything gather. So we're in the late winter, which means it's going to go to spring now. Why does it say there's no production here? I don't understand. How do I make it not squash? Is this squash? Apparently cabbage just... Let's do cabbage. There we go. Okay, so squash in this field. Cabbage in this field. Two workers here, two workers there. That's how we do it, people. They're farming and crap, all right? <laughs> oh God, but we need more builders, so let's... Oh God. Come on, people, more babies. We have 15 adults, but five children. Those children need to grow the hell up so we can use their slave labor. Because if I've played this game, and I have, and I've learned anything from this game, it's that the more babies we have, the more slave labor. And that's the way I like it. I want this town to be big. I want it like New York big. I want a metropolis. So that's what we're gonna do. And to do that requires slave labor. Oh, what's this? Okay, we have our, our hunting cabin's done. I'm going to set one hunter, so at least it starts working. The problem now is we have no more laborers, and laborers are the ones that, like, bring resources to building sites, so hopefully those babies grow up and we can, uh, you know, get some more laborers. All right, so they're starting to build more housing. That's good. Our cabbage and our squash is going well, 
It's it's all working strong, and that's the way I like it. We have tons of food now. We 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 should have to. What is this? Average health of citizens? Very goddamn poor. Well, if you want to live in my little town of Tottsville, don't expect to be healthy. Health is a rarity here. We focus on our base essentials before we focus on health. What? Why is this house in like the middle of nowhere? That is strange in in many ways. Hey, one of our children grew up to be a slave laborer. That's the way I like it. Look at all the resources we have stored. So once we get a little bit more builders and a little bit more laborers, we can... Look, some people already took up. Two fishermen took up that house that was just built. So that's good that we built the house. But we can start making some more... Oh, what is this? The reserve of food is low. Oh, you're right, it is. Well, that's why we have a hunter's lodge now. So we can start making food. But uh, the farms take a little bit to grow. So until we can harvest the farms, food's gonna be low. Oh god, our health is dropping even more. Okay, is there like a hospital or something I could get? I think we should definitely work on this hospital because it's a wee bit essential. Let's rotate it and put it on this end. Whew, apparently that's blocked by like 800 ducks. All right, right there, hospital is gonna be built because whew, all of our citizens are dying of sickness and other crap. So it's probably best that we get a hospital so all of our slave laborers don't die. All right, so we have three laborers, which means I can set another builder and probably another hunter because we want to get as much food as possible. So I don't think we need more than one or two laborers at a time. I think what is done should be good. But our city is flourishing now. A lot better than the two episodes I did way back when where everyone was literally just dying the whole episode. We're going places, people. This is good. We have 19 slave labor citizens without tools. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? Do I need to get tools? A blacksmith or something? Oh boy, all right. I guess we have to find like a blacksmith. Okay, used to create tools that went from one and iron. Okay, well, we're gonna create a blacksmith, I guess, because apparently my people are without tools. And that's a bad thing, apparently. I didn't know they had to create tools, so. Uh, the uh, reserve of stone is low. I'm like, geez, I just, I just, I like, I can see I have like a bunch of food, but. Stone is the problem, which means we need to gather some stone. Where is removal? Let's collect stone of whatever stone's here. How do I do this? Crap, it's been long. There. I don't know. Just collect all the stone that's here. We need We need it all. That stone and this stone. T collect it all. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. So apparently we're low on stone, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna send our laborers to go collect a bunch of stone. Because, whew, we need stone to build our hospitals, our blacksmiths. Apparently stone's a very big thing, but the problem with stone is you can only mine it. And it's not an infinite resource, sadly. 26 degrees. I'm guessing that's in Fahrenheit, because if that was Celsius, that's hot. And it, clearly it's not hot. It is snowing balls outside. So, hey -o, that's good news. Hey, we're back into the spring thing. Woo! That's the way, like, we're in early spring number eight. Why aren't our hospitals being built? Probably because we don't have stone. Yeah, that's definitely it. Well, hopefully we get stone because I don't want my people to die. Looks like it takes like ages to collect stone though. So that's, that's lovely. Look at all these deers. Hunters, what are you doing? You gotta murder them. We need food. So we have three laborers. I guess I'll make one more builder. I want to max out everything at some point. We'll put all three hunters. So we have lots of people hunters. So everything now Besides builder is maxed out. Oh, and farmer, because we can have six farmers. Oh, well, we'll deal with farmers later, but we're gonna need some laborers for the time that we have our hospital so we can have some nurses and crap. Food reserve is low. Oh, dear God, you're right. Well, it, it usually happens when my crops are growing that the food reserve's low because the crops take a while to grow, but once I harvest the crops, then, then the food is all right. But we got more people now, which sucks because we need more food and now we're completely out of food. Oh, good God. Let the starving commence. What are these hunters doing? Are they not hunting people? Come on. Hunting people? I don't mean people. That would be like messed up murder and cannibalism. I just mean deer. That's it. No more. Hey, the hospital's being built, though. So then we can ho hopefully start healing our citizens. Because our health is obviously very, very poor. I think it's good to have a variety of squash and cabbage so people don't get sick of the same food. If that's how this game even works, I don't know. I don't even know if there's a difference between the two. But now that we're harvesting, food's going back up, so we're good. We just gotta wait for this hospital to be be to be done being built to get done being built. 
so we can heal them citizens. Make them feel better. Make them all warm and stuff. Whatever hospitals do. What are hospitals? Why don't my deer take my bridge, man? No need to cross the water. I built that bridge for you. All right, so now we have here, let's start work. And that means we, we only need one physician. That's awesome. So we have one physician. I, I thought you'd need a lot more to run a hospital, but apparently you only need one dude, so. We have someone work in the hospital now, which means if anyone gets sick or anyone has poor health, they can go to the hospital. We're, we're advancing in society, people. We're actually becoming like a decent village. This is good. And then next, we're hopefully gonna get the stone required to build a blacksmith because everyone's without tools. That's what those things are above their head, I believe. And once we get them tools, that should hopefully help. I, I, don't, I don't know what it's gonna do, but I'm sure it'll be a good thing. Does that mean like nobody has fishing rods? They're just kind of like reaching into the water and grabbing the fish as they swim by like, Oh no, fishy, come here! Oh! Because uh, without fishing rods, how do you fish? Maybe that's why we're not getting as many fish. Because they don't have tools. And the hunters! Do they not have tools to hunt? Is that why they have to like physically go up the deer like, You wanna go deer? Uh, boom, 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 boom! They like fist fight the deer in order to get the meat. Wow, that would be interesting. Yeah, we definitely should get tools. Are they still harvesting the stone over here? I don't know, because we are definitely out of stone. So let's try again. Maybe they... Oh, this isn't stone. Oh, that's why. So yeah, they finished collecting the stone, but we need to get more. So I think there's lots of stone over here. So let's harvest... Harvest all that, because we need more stone very, very badly. I'm guessing the other stuff was iron, the little rocks. Uh, but we don't need iron, we just need stone, because without stone, we can't build our blacksmith. Our health sucks. Even though I have a hospital now, the health of everyone is just terrible. I don't understand. You know, I probably shouldn't have made stone pathways, because that's kind of where all my stone went. It went into the freaking expensive stone pathways. I don't know why I did that, because now I need stone for all these buildings. But all the stone used is currently in the goddamn pathways. I think we really need to get tools here, because I think a lot of the buildings I have are not very effective at running because we don't have a blacksmith to create the tools. Because I believe doing some of these jobs without certain tools would be very hard, but hopefully we're able to get that stone quickly so we can build some tools. Maybe I should get like a marketplace or something so I can like trade for some stone. I think that would be pretty useful, right? Used to provide a localized area for citizens to collect food, tools, and f Oh, okay, well I can't really- I don't need a market until I get tools actually being made. Trading post allows the trade of resources with merchants. That's something for the future, but look at the cost of that. Holy crap, it costs 80 stone. I can't even get enough stone to get my blacksmith yet, so yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna hold off on those extremely expensive stuff. Alright everyone, well I'm actually gonna end this episode here. We're definitely gonna do more episodes of this Banish, because I want to see how great this town's gonna be, and I want to see how much it can grow into. But next episode, we're gonna get that blacksmith, and we're gonna get tools for the nation, and probably also build a market, because it seems like we need the market to distribute these tools to all of our beautiful people. But for now, that is going to be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope you all enjoyed. If you liked it, please do hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to see more. And I will see all of you later.